What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for messages from the kingdom of Hyrule? What I'm getting at is we've got some mail a mail, but this is going into the 1000 Zelda collection. Ooh. Mail in mail. As I'm sure you know, I am Tom, and with me, I am Lady Lacey. Now, we collect all sorts of things. We love video game stuff, and we're trying to see if we have 1,000 pieces in our Zelda collection. And not only are we thinking that we may have those already, but people are hooking us up <laughs> with stuff. They want to make sure make we sure. get there. <laughs> exactly. Well, first of all, something that I wanted to show off, these keychains from Club Nintendo. As you make purchases and do certain little missions and everything, you earn these platinum points and so on, and you can trade them to things. Oftentimes it will be digital stuff, but sometimes you can get some cool physical things. I'm really not a fan of Splatoon. I've tried it a couple of times. It just wasn't my bag, baby. But uh, <laughs> the fact that they did like this little cross promotional thing with Zelda, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I love crossover stuff anyway. And when I saw these keychains, I had to get them because, you know, you basically got a piece that represents power, a piece that represents wisdom, and a piece that represents courage. So you're covering the whole Triforce right there. And the simple fact that they do come from Club Nintendo. Yes. These are those types of things that you'll see later on and be like, whoa, where did those even come from? Oh, you probably should have got them when you could have got them. <laughs> on a side note, I don't think you're really much of a Splatoon fan either as far as the game, but you got something fairly recently as well. Yeah, I, I'm not really that into Splatoon. I haven't really given it much of a chance though, but I like everything about Splatoon. Like I love paint splatters and I love octopus or octopi, however you want to call it. And I did actually buy a OLED Splatoon Switch because I really like the colors and I like the octopus stuff all over it. I do have Splatoon stuff, just haven't played the game. Well, we'll save that for the Splatoon collection later on. <laughs> one of the first pieces of mail that we got from one of our nerdlings of the one, the only Salty Bandana. Bandana Gamer hooked us up with this print for Tears of the Kingdom. If I recall, this was the pre-order bonus that you got when you went through Best Buy yes. for the game. Something that you actually really liked was the framing. That I did. I like the fact that it came. I mean, it's just one of those like, you know, cheap cardboard frames. But the fact that it's, it has like these really nice border on it and it says Zelda Tears of the Kingdom in there. It's really nice. So it's like you don't have to worry about framing if you don't want to. And the best thing is, I mean, aside from it being a gorgeous print and coming from a dear friend in our community, is the size of it because that's something that we can find yes. space for to display, not like some of the bigger prints <laughs> and posters. How can Ace be 1 and 11? What kind of God would allow that? Next, we have a box. This is from Sean, 8 bit glitch. So obviously, links are going to be in the description for all the channels and the people that we shout out today. I'm so glad you said his name. Yeah, <laughs> you have an issue with that. Because I can't ever say his name. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh. That's bad bubble wrap. That's good bubble wrap. Now, when Sean sent this to us, he said, you don't have to make a video, but come on, this is Do You Nerd. We, we <laughs> like to do our unboxings and everything. First of all, he's got our number. Oh, uh, is it Jason Plushy? Look at the dice. Nice. That's pretty cool. That is awesome. Initially, this is what he'd sent the box to us for to hook us up with. Remember this guy? Yes, when we were trying to get all of the McDonald's Happy Meal toys and we could never get a hold of the stupid Bowser. Yeah, he eluded us. So thank you so yes. much, Sean. Really appreciate that. And now for the piece going into the Zelda collection. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. So this is the Master Sword lamp. And we have that, seen this a few times. We have, times, yes. But we never popped on it. Uh-uh. But uh, Sean, he contacted me. He said, you know, I've got this. I don't need it. It takes up space. I think that you would probably really enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah, we can give that a, a great new home. That is beautiful. You know, I just realized something with this piece right here. Uh, the length of it that's actually displayed here 
That kind of connects to Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, he broke his sword. Thank you so much, Sean. Yes, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, see, this collection is just growing all the time. I give the best cuddles. We have one more box, but first of all, I noticed you dressed for the occasion. I did dress for the occasion. I wore my Breath of the Wild shirt. Now, growing up, you weren't necessarily a Zelda fan, but no, Breath because of I the could Wild not stand the first game. <laughs> really, it really lasts. Yes, on that for is you. my all-time favorite game. I have not played Tears of the Kingdom yet because I'm waiting for you to finish it. But yes, that is my all-time favorite Zelda game. So, so. this shirt, uh, you've got like a, a great look of Link staring off into the distance. You have two versions of Zelda here. Mm -hmm. So you have her in kind of her explorer garb, but then in her goddess garb yes. too. And they're both looking up at Hyrule Castle. Link's looking at the Hyrule Castle. They know what the mission is here. Yep. So this is very cool. And you even like the color. I even like the color. <laughs> because one of your favorite colors. One of, of my course. favorite colors, yes. And it works really well with gold. All right, so one more box. This big boy comes from Viracy. Again, told us we didn't need to make a video, but he did assure us that this was something that could go. Did you, the did you disinfect collection. it since he's a virus? No, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Thanks. Did you notice we got stuff from glitches and viruses? We better keep this away from the computer. Well, we also got something from a bandana, so we're That's good. That's true. Okay, that is true. Ooh. Oh, nice. So he sent us this Legend of Zelda collector's box. We have picked up a few of these in the past, these fun little uh, kind of like mystery boxes, even though they're not always mystery. First of all, I mean, I am going to include the box because it's a neat looking box. You've got this great image of Link on it, and then in the background, you've got all these pictures of characters, Link's, Zelda's, additional characters from the whole series. Inside, I think that was the first thing that caught First thing eye. I noticed is this really nice water bottle with a really nice handle on top. It's a good plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking it and whatnot. But it's just a nice wide-mouthed water bottle. If you happen to be in Oz, you could see if it is a character. <laughs> It wouldn't be a mystery box without some stationery. <laughs> a running joke around here yes. is oftentimes many of the mystery boxes we get, they do come with stationery. Once in a while though, we uh, we do make some exceptions like this one for Zelda because yep. you know, it's Zelda stuff. First thing I noticed is there's a really nice gold embossed side profile of Link. It looks really nice with his little earring there. I like his earring. And it's got this, uh, it's, it's a cardboard cover, but it has like almost a faux leather look. It does, to yes. It. Did you notice the inside here, little, little tiny shadows of Link? Ooh, oh, dark Link. Oh. And it has some good, almost a thick lined paper with a Triforce emblem at the top. And then a neat little design at the bottom. I really like it when they go all out. Cause sometimes you have like a neat looking journal on the outside, but then the inside is just blank pages. I kind of like when they kind of do something fun with the pages on the inside. You know, this this could be handy if we fill up one notebook with a thousand Zelda items and start there going for go. like two thousand yeah. Zelda items. We can start putting them we on. We could. <laughs> and then the last thing in this box. We have a really neat sword and shield stand that's standing on top of a Hillian, like almost Triforce, like piece of a Triforce maybe. I like the way it's suspended up. You mm -hmm. know, it's got that clear peg there to hold it up. So then it gives the sword and the shield almost a, a floating look to it, you know, like it's suspended in the air floating over this crest. So that is very cool. And it's also this nice low profile kind of statue art piece that would be perfect to have out on your desk. It's not gonna take up a lot of space, but it's gonna be, you know, cool to have on display and show off. Nice little surprise mystery box. Yes, Some other fun. goodies, you know, even if he's not in the land of Hyrule, we got some good Jason stuff. <laughs> now, as we kind of clean up the mess that we've made here, we're gonna throw it over to another nerdling so they can share with you how they nerd out about Zelda. The Legend of Zelda! Ooh. Hello everybody. Do you remember those days of sitting on the toilet reading the Legend of Zelda manuals, trying to find more about Hyrule, our hero Link, or the Princess Zelda, or that evil pig face Ganon? Well, now you can relive those days with a book that I found, The Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia. 
This book contains information, anything you would want to know about Hyrule. It contains information about games from the original Legend of Zelda, the NES, to the Wii U's remake of Twilight Princess HD. I highly recommend this book. It has wonderful illustrations, a screen, really colorful screenshots, and it's very well done. And it contains anything you would want to know about those Legend of Zelda games. So if you would like to relive that memory, reach for the Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia. So the next time you are taking a Super Size number two, you could be learning all about Zelda. In all seriousness, I do nerd for Zelda, and one of the Zelda items in my collection is the Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia. Great reference book, and that is going to do it for me. So until next time, see you bye. Thank you for joining us on this Zelda quest to see if we have a thousand items, as well as the people come along on the ride with us, uh, whether they're popping into the video like that, or sending us some awesome pieces to add to the collection. Thank you so much. Once again, Bandana Gamer, Sean, 8-Bit Glitch, and Virusy TV. Links again in the description below. So check everyone out. Uh, leave some comments what you think. Let us know if you ever dress for the occasion, if you get thirsty for some Hillian water, or if you just need a good nightlight in the shape of a sword <laughs> and a stone. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go over to Tee Public because we've got some pretty cool merchandise on over there. And hit us up on the Retro Refresh because that's a pretty neat looking website too. If we like it. We nerd it. Hey, you know, one more great thing about this print I saw online. When you put this next to the image, the classic image for Breath of the Wild, it shows that he finally got up there. But he finally <laughs> made it up there. Good job, Link. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings.